Retired Army Colonel Bill Rader, who lives in Kitsap County, was the last Army soldier taken captive in Vietnam, and he was held as a prisoner of war at the same camp at the same time as John McCain. So they never met at the infamous Hanoi Hilton, but Reader told King 5 via Skype from Italy that he was aware that McCain, whose father and grandfather were high-ranking Navy men, had refused early release. We knew of John. Uh, we knew John's story. Uh, we knew that he was the son of a, of a four-star admiral who was in command of, of the Pacific to include Vietnam. And we knew that he had been offered early release and that the denied that, declined that, uh, to stay with the other prisoners in the camp. And that, uh, that meant a lot to us. And uh, just knowing his stand, uh, having him as, uh, as someone who stood above uh, the others uh, served as an inspiration, uh, I think, to everyone, I know certainly to me. So McCain was offered early release. He said it wasn't fair because other men had been held prisoner longer than him, so he didn't leave. Reader says McCain also inspired him by transitioning into politics, turning that capture into fuel for a productive life. And for more of Colonel Reader's exclusive conversation with King 5, as well as photos of his time as a POW, you can go to king5.com. Well, viewers are paying tribute to McCain tonight on Facebook. Jim posted, Senator McCain has always admitted that his life was certainly not always admirable. I believe him, though, when he said that his internment as a POW changed him for the better. Kelly said in part, thank you so much, Senator McCain. You gave it your all. You gave it your best. So few could endure what you endured. Another tribute to Senator John McCain. Take a look. Sky King shows us an American flag flying at half-mast on a naval ship at Naval Station Everett. McCain will be buried in Annapolis on Sunday.